Hi, in this video I want to talk about copyright free music. I'm going to show you a couple of things about copyright music. I'm going to talk about uh, two websites which you should watch out if you're looking for copyright free music. So uh, let's begin. What's important to know is when you're looking for copyright music, it's important to know that you have license. When someone makes a music, they have copyright on it. In some country, you need to register, in some country, you don't. As long as you make the music, it's creative, you have copyright on it. Depends how you make it. If you want to use someone's music, you need to have license to use it. And it can be an exclusive right or it can be a non exclusive right. And what you need to figure out is how can I get the license? If you're looking for music online for free, non-copyright, that means you're looking for music where the license is not a problem. So you need to figure out what the license is. So let's say you go on Google, you type, uh, let's say you go on Google, let's say you go on Google and you type copyright free music. What will happen? thing is first what you get is band sounds it's a good website I'm gonna show you what the problem is with that website another one is also YouTube also providing copyright music that's a good one we're gonna discuss those two there are a lot of websites but technically it works the same so let's go to band sound as you can see you can get a lot of music here you can use it some of them you can use for commercial some of them you cannot use for commercial thing is you need to look at the license so here they have clearly what the license is and in this license they are saying what you're allowed to do and what you're not allowed to do and the thing is with music if you're looking for free music there's always a catch they will always ask you for attribution so for example when you upload the music in a video or anything you put, need to put music song title from bandsound.com the reason why they are doing this is this is an indirect marketing so when you promote your video somewhere people will see the name and they will redirect to the website so people can always come back to the website to look for that music that's just indirect marketing but if you don't want to put the attribution you have to pay for it and here they are saying what the standard license is and what the extended license is national and international license is and this is what the what the license is and uh, here they're comparing the license so this is the free license you have to put credit but if you have a standard license or normal license you don't have to put credits and uh, this is what you're allowed to do and what you're not allowed to do but um, you can also get a subscription when you have a subscription you don't have to put credits but um, you can use a lot of music I'm not promoting this company or anything but I'm just showing you when you are using a music there's always a catch watch out for attribution same apply for YouTube you have some copyright music but you also have um, YouTube library YouTube YouTube library audio library music library so yeah I'm not logging but in YouTube library you also have that and uh, some songs you need to put some attribution, some songs you don't. And those music you can use it on YouTube. So that's how copyright for music work. If you have question about it or you want to know more about it, feel free to contact me. See you in the next video.